Again, slightly heavy on that backhand volley drop from Gaultier. Enabling Matthew to get in that area quite quickly. It's good to see him play the ball there, Parky. And he's oh. made the unforced <laughs> error. Just caught the top of the tin. Crowd not sure. They thought that uh, the ball was fine. It actually caught the top of the tin. 7-6. Right side. Yeah, it was good work from Greg yeah, Gautier. Good yeah. awareness. Just just clipped the top, the red yeah. line. You could and hear it Gautier as well as see it. it. And he's done it. Very important psychologically to take this first game. So second game ball for the Frenchman. Starting to really fizz round the court. Exceptional whip hitting from Gautier. Again, not giving Nick Matthew many opportunities to volley. Stuff here, Joey. This is very, very dynamic. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. And there's the raw, <laughs> double whammy raw. Probably. Just caught coverage from Matthew. Oh, oh it's brilliant. Oh my gosh. Brilliant. <laughs> Gaultier trying to get the crowd going. Again, some phenomenal retrievals from Nick Matthew. He's so desperate to, to win this match, to win this third game 13, for a start. 12. As game you ball. said, it's, it's absolutely crucial psychologically. I'll be finding this duration hard mentally. We saw that in the World Championships against Rami Ashour in the first game. Pretty much wiped him out for the rest of the match. This is such an emotional play here, yeah, and he's not going to get that. Such an emotional player. I feel that takes a lot out of the reserves, and he's signaling that the referee it's about the outer court. But, I mean, really, there's a, there's a huge amount of points. I don't think the outer court would determine the uh, outcome of that. It certainly didn't. It's fantastic for the, the crowd to see this go into a fifth. Selecting not, not to volley that loose shot there, Gautier. Down. Again, wonderful work. Well, Matthew makes the unforced error. Gautier really gritting his teeth. Again, getting the crowd, he's trying to get some energy from somewhere. You can just see uh, Neil Guyry, Nick Matthews' uh, friend and coach at this tournament, trying not to smile too much. Get excited too early here. But it is looking like Greg Gautier is cramping up. Somehow, he's managing to stay in this. He's just walking around. That's just shows his movement. He's able to just walk around the court here. And again, going back to the psychology, he just feels he's got nothing to lose now, I think. Well, that's oh, all for it. Oh, he's fallen yeah. down. 
<laughs> he's completely fallen down. It looked like Matthew was straddling him. <laughs> he's actually absolutely well, gone. <laughs> he's really gone. He's really gone. That was he's a really bit of a gone. boxing pose there. Yeah, he's um, completely exhausted, Greg Gauthier. He's given everything here. Well, he had Matthew on the ropes, and uh, this is a really brave performance from Gaultier. And I, it's great to see he is in a lot of discomfort, but he's still playing the rallies. I think he just wants a hug there, Joey. Yeah, he's in well, some serious discomfort. Left he does need a bit of uh, a bit of loving here and there. And there. Matthew manages to squeeze Matthew, the last point. Nice smile from Gaultier. Left everything five. on the court, the Frenchman. No capitulation without uh, the energy reserves completely de being depleted physically and mentally. 103 minutes between Gregory Gaultier and Nick Matthew. But Matthew comes out on top, 11-7, 10-12. 15, 13, 9, 11, 11, 5, three games to two. Out. 11, 2, game to Castagne. Castagne leads one game to love. So the Colombian just edging this mid stage of the second at 6 5. Pirouetting round. He almost knocked himself out. Rodriguez earlier running into the side wall. Rodriguez here could do with some of his coach. Oh, David there's Palmas. that gut ripping boast. Not even the speed of Rodriguez able to get onto this one. Slightly mid court from the Colombian, but the speed on which he gets that boast through. <laughs> it's extraordinary. I don't know if we've got a time on this rally, but it's. Going on and on and on, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> absolute <laughs> carnage. Oh my God! Got that castanet. Oh, he's still going. He's still going. Oh my word! Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gargantuan rally. And these guys really <laughs> do deserve a breather. That was complete physical havoc there. Luckily, the court's going to be wiped. <laughs> well, I think they need it, Joey. Well, I think we need a wipe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you certainly do. You've eaten your wipe. <laughs> that, was, oh. that was just lactic acid out the eyeballs, out the ears. Just lactic acid everywhere. Well, time and time again, we both thought the rally was over. And both players just managing to restart the rally, as you, as you say. Well, the skill in, in that last oh. cross-court drop, he's thundering it, and now he's still going. He just mistimed the dive at the end. I think he would have got it if he'd have got the, got the dive right. I know. Oh, he's still in. He's still in the rally, Rodriguez. <laughs> Well, you, you almost expect it now, don't you, from uh, Rodriguez to get these ridiculous balls back. Yeah. And win the rally. And out for three.
Oh, he managed to get it through. My word. Rodriguez looks up to the heavens once more. I mean, this was so well taken by Castagne, accelerating. Yeah. He's done it, Machu Castagne Machu finally Castagne. puts the winner in. Three games to love, 11-2. What a three love. 13-11. So many long, arduous rallies between these two. Well, the scoreline, look at that for a three love. I mean, 74 minutes in duration. Uh, Castagne takes down the number seven seed, Rodriguez of Colombia, 11-2, 16-14. 13, 11, three games to love.